Welcome to the Podunk Polymath, a podcast dedicated to the sentiments of a secular, sarcastic, screwed up Southern SJW and skeptic. I'm your host, Chris Kimarnan. This is episode 71 of the Triple Pole. Thanks again for joining me. Hope you all had a spectacular weekend and such. I wanted to mention that, interestingly, you know how I bitch about nobody leaving me voicemails on the voicemail line? Well, apparently I had two and didn't know it because I didn't set up the notifications correctly. And one one was from a month and one was from like five months. I don't remember a while back. So I feel really bad. So I have two voicemails that will play at the end of this, the uh, pre-ramble. One is from David the Researcher. And one is from Cora Johnson of the Hardcore Skeptic Examines, as well as the Brainstorm Podcast. So, good stuff. I really appreciate them calling in, even if it took me a while to figure out that it was there. Of course, I also want to mention that Nanacon is coming up March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. And I've already, in a previous episode, mentioned the speakers, but I think the main speakers is Matt Dillahunty mandisa thomas are the major ones so that should be fun get to meet some people i know trav is also is going to be there speaking of which you need to check out his gofundme because he's still trying to raise money to get a plane ticket down here so i'm going to put that in the show notes so and share uh on your various social media spaces because we definitely want him to come down here them always fuck up them to come down here and they're going to give a speech about activist burnout so that's definitely something that i think a lot of people in this community would benefit from actually because it can really get to you sometimes we got practice self-care so i'm anxious to see what he has to say about that of course as i mentioned last week as well secular social justice is april 7th in dc at all souls unitarian church in dc so Hopefully you can come to that. I know Sincere will be there. Steve Shives apparently will be there. And a lot of cool people. Alex Jules is going to be there. Ashton Woods is going to be one of the speakers. So, And other people I've never even heard of, which is good because I mean, I get even more kind of exposure to people I hadn't, I hadn't uh, had any contact with before. I'm always looking to learn new things and meet new people, of course. On the Palaver this week, I have those crazy kids from not another atheist podcast jen and keith they have done a bit of a relaunch uh the website's been a, a redesign they have a new twitter and apparently they're talking about actually putting episodes out more frequently than once a month so that's good to hear we don't talk about anything try to keep them on subject it just is pointless so it's just basically jen rambling about shit keith interjecting canadian things every once in a while and try as I might, uh, I couldn't corral them in to try to get a coherent subject. So every once in a while, you might hear him talk about what, you know, like the podcast is just kind of the point of, the, you know, talking to him. <laughs> but that doesn't seem to work out so well. But, you know, it's fun. It's always fun to talk to them, kind of. It's good to kind of let some steam out of everything, not be so serious. Every episode, not be so serious. Because, you know, God knows there's enough shit going well, Lack of God knows there's enough shit going on right now with the Trumpster. Of course, everybody knows about the boxes, uh, the food boxes he wants to send out for food stamps. Instead of giving food stamps, give them fo- like boxes of shit, like fresh food, like it's fucking ugh, a wannabe blue apron or poor man's blue apron or something. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do with people who have allergies or gluten, you know, gluten free can't have gluten or allergic to sir. I don't know how you're going to do all that. It's just the whole idea is ridiculous. And of course, also in the budget, they're talking about getting rid for funding for the corporation public broadcasting, which of course includes NPR funding for NPR, you know, PBS, all kinds of shit, which is awesome. That's always good. Yeah. That's, we need to get rid of that shit. A lot of people, that's our only source of any children's programming or any other programming for fuck's sake. I mean, it's just ridiculous, and part of, another part of the budget is cracking down on people who own student loans and uh, stopping the loan forgiveness thing. So, yeah, that's great, because that's also what we need to make it more difficult 
for kids or grown ass people trying to get student loans, trying to pay them off, you know, to make their way in the world and not be burdened by crushing debt for the rest of their fucking life. So that's always awesome. And also another thing I found out is that they're trying to push through in the house something where it basically makes it more difficult for disabled people to get access in certain buildings. They're make putting the onus on the person wanting the access to basically no codes and shit and request certain. You have to like, I guess, you know, submit it in triplicate to the uh, building. Why you need a ramp or any other uh, disabled access instead of like under the ADA, you just do it anyway. You automatically have access for disabled people within a reasonable cost or whatever. But they're trying to do it with away with that too. So that's awesome. Uh, let's just make it harder for me. In fact, let's just fucking, let's do away with the pretense. Let's just go back to serfdom. You know, we're just going to have a back to feudalism where you have lords and serfs and we'll just slave away for the uh, ultra wealthy. So that, that'll work out well. Yeah. Super awesome. Oh, I just, I can't anymore. Anyway, I'll stop. But yeah, like I said, palate cleanser. The palaver is just a bunch of rambling nonsense, mostly, with uh, some interesting content between. So, But I think we all need it, so stay tuned. Uh, you're listening to Dave Smith, the researcher Dave. You are listening to the Podunk Polymath. Commentary and social justice issues abound. Just make sure that you win, that you pay attention, and, and donate on Patreon. Hey, Chris, it's Corey Johnson from the Brainstorm Podcast calling. I'm driving truck today listening to the new episode, and I heard you say that you were tired of begging people to call your number, so I figured I'd give it a shout. I hope things are going well, and uh, the episode with Christy Winters was really good. The episode with Angela was awesome. Keep up the good work, man. I really appreciate your stuff. Have a great day. Welcome to Secular Soup. I'm Amy with a Y. And I'm Amy with an I. And we're just two blueberries floating in a bowl of tomato soup. Stay tuned for real talk about atheism, feminism, politics, parenting, and whatever the fuck else we want to talk about because this is our show. And get ready for a whole lot of motherfucking profanity. Buckle up, bitches. It's time to have some soup. I would tell them they can find us wherever podcasts are, but they're listening to this right now. So if you're that so stupid that you're listening us. to this show and you don't if know where to listen. If we have to tell you how to find podcasts. Then you're hopeless. Looking for something new and exciting, or maybe just a change from the old atheist show format? Cellar Door Skeptics Podcast provides listeners with hours of enjoyment each week on Spreaker and iTunes. Check us out as we talk politics, religion, science, reviews, books, and music, along with the occasional interview just for a twist. Join Christopher Tanner and Chris Hanna every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern as they bring fresh content to you. Walk with us through the cellar door as we help you prepare for the revolution. You can find us on Spreaker, iTunes, YouTube, and even on Facebook. Welcome to another edition of Here the Palaver here on the Podunk Polymath Podcast. That was great. This week I have with me the Oh, uh, that's great, Chris. I'm so happy to be here. This is not wonderful. another atheist oh, podcast. Great time. Great, great did times. A big relaunch. I mean, they still suck being a whatever. Uh, Good Keith fucking Jim, God. I'm just doing? messing with you here. Go fuck uh, have yourself, fun. asshole. All right. You know. You never okay, come to my so. poker nights, dickbag. Oh yeah. No, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. You, you just want us here because you want to trash talk us because you know competition. I get it. Oh God, are we doing Twitter wars again? Just get on Twitter. <gasps> we should now that we have an official Twitter. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did a major. What's the word? Re what? Not rebranding. Makeover. Rebirth. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just go ahead? Resurrection. And... Yeah. Okay. So Jen actually had eight hours in a day to not do anything so she redid the website i did the i set up our official twitter and finally after like two fucking years did all that shit so now we have an actual official website not another atheist podcast.com and ny nyca atheist at twitter it's all one word good luck trying to fucking remember that one folks <laughs> I was like, I think I had gotten up at like 530 in the morning and I had done the website and I was just like so burnt out that I was like, fuck it, this shit makes sense. So, uh, Chris. Yes. When are you going to come to one of my poker nights, you motherfucker? 
You've uh, been in Clarksville Atheist for over oh, a fucking okay. year this now. Is about you. I you, get it. You've been in Clarksville Atheist for over a fucking year now. You don't come to any of the fucking get togethers. You don't come no, to my fucking poker nights. I'm not it's in bullshit. Clarksville, technically. I mean, yeah, but you're I mean, still in thing... the fucking group. <laughs> and they're group oh, events. My poker night is a group event. This sounds like tension. You missed the last one. I actually almost won. I know. Well, I was going to go to that one, but I had a previous engagement. I'm a busy guy. So well, I'm you a busy tell girl, me. Wh- and you, al- you missed my almost win. Every other week, I go see my lady friend. So I, it has to be coordinated. With well, you know what? I'm fucking sick of trying to schedule everybody's shit. I got a fucking, we've got D&D night with Clarksville Atheist, so I can't have my poker night on one of the D&D nights. One of our friends has a child custody issue, so I try to work around that, and I got to work around pussy. Fuck that. I'm done. I love her. I'm so done. I'm just pussy. Good for you. I You're mean, getting laid. Fuck that. You haven't seen me in, you haven't uh, seen me since my birthday, uh, asshole. I try. You sat there and worked. Bring, how do you respond to that? Surgery. Bring your fucking lady friend with you. I see, no, I see Chris twice a year. I see him for NanoCon and I see him for my birthday. And that's the only time okay, I see him. Well, I see Chris twice something. a fucking I, year. I, I Is there a realize, story behind that? No, it's just she had the, her surgery and she was not doing things. So Yeah, I wasn't doing anything for, what was it, like six weeks? I think I was out com- completely for six weeks. So, but I'm I mean, good. Uh, I'm back up now. I'm fucking way healthier and better. It's nice okay. to not, well, you know, I mean, it's nice to not feel like your body is punishing you for not overpopulating the planet every month. It's wonderful. Mm. So I'm anyway, yes, the body turning into a mob bus. <laughs> I will come up there with her at some point. I've already talked to her. Is about she coming body. to NanoCon? I don't know because the pro- well, there's something else going on. We're supposed to be going to Secular Social Justice in D.C. and it's kind of conflict. That? April seventh. And it's too close together, so she might have to pick one or the other. Well, you get a plus one. You get you get to get him for free because you're a panelist, and you get a plus one as well. Right. My boyfriend, the fucking good-hearted fucking Jon Snow that he is, dick, is like, no, I'm going to pay to support it. Why don't you put it in the group for somebody who maybe can't afford it? And I'm like, fuck. I already there. paid for it, actually. So You did? Fuck that. I'm not paying yeah. for it this year. Sorry, Patrick. I'm not paying for it this year. Fuck you. Fuck I think you. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Ten dollars is a That's two nice. glasses of wine. Fuck you. No. Anyway, so <laughs> yes, we've established that I'm going to see Jen. I don't know why, because apparently I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, Fuck she's you. got it. You're gonna see me too this year, asshole. I know. I know, oh my god. When? I'm... For his wedding. October. She's she's coming to my wedding. Do you know what October. he's making me do? Oh do you know what he's making me do? He's making me light the candle in their church in the church to to signify their unity. <laughs> God, I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. You know that shit's going to happen, right? Okay. So, we'll deal with that bridge when we get there. I don't think that's how... I think you mix metaphors anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm Canadian. Who cares? So, f- once you... I mean, y'all been on here before, but it's been like over a year. Know, yeah. Probably been about a year now. About that. Um, what is your show about? <laughs> Anything and everything. Uh, we we uh, can't... Uh, yeah, that's... We pick that's, social that's justice <laughs> topics... We do pick social justice topics, but we, we never stay on track. Okay, so of we time. never stay on track. We are the Ramble Cast without a cause. Oh, that's a good one. It's... That should have been our tagline. That is our. F- do you not oh. listen to my spiel at the beginning of every episode? Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I just like listening to myself. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> this is behind the scenes podcast magic, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, podcast. Hey, I'm the face uh, here, goddammit. Nobody gives a shit about your voice, it's mine. <laughs> I, I mean, true. Exactly. But still. See, at least you know. Yes, because everybody wants to hear your annoying ass fucking New York accent. Oh, it's better than this I'm so charming fucking drawl in my Predators Jersey, Tennessee bullshit. Uh, at least actually, mine's got it's charming about it. that. All the ladies love the Southern Troll, so try again. Anyway. At least mine's got a fucking edge to it. What yeah. is the president's personal it, lawyer saying now, besides the fact that I suck his dick for way less money? Oh, okay. Um, Didn't know that was a thing, but okay. <laughs> so when's the last time y'all had a show or an episode? That, last week. <laughs> last week. Yeah, we've got oh, one. Put, actually, we put out two this year so far, which for us is... A new record. Yes. Um, we did fall off the map for a bit there, both of us. Yeah, I was when I was um, recovering. 
we kind of took a hiatus from my recovery. And... Even before that. Let's no, be we were going. No, we were going pretty it... steady before that, and then I had the surgery done in November, and <sighs> we stopped. Yeah, we stopped until I took my two months to recover, and we're back now. Yeah, not new and that imp- consistent. Let's new and honest. improved uterus free gen. <laughs> Huh. Did you keep the ovaries? <laughs> yes. Um, I kept my ovaries because I did not want to go into menopause because I'm already a crazy hairy bitch. And I'd like to put that off for as long as possible. But everything else went. The uterus, yeah, cause, uterus, cause cervix, thing, fallopian yeah. tubes went. They're all gone. So I don't yeah, have to worry you, about cervical so cancer. I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about cervical cancer. I don't have to worry about uterine cancer. And I don't have to worry about ectopic pregnancies, which apparently could kill me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, that sounds rather painful. Let's get rid of the tubes, too. <laughs> so now it's great. I can have, it's great. I can have sex all the time and never fucking worry. Like, ever. It's amazing. Well, Although I, mean... I, I will admit, I oh, my God, I haven't even told my boyfriend about this like we're actually gonna fucking laugh about this the first time after i didn't get my period and freaked out like i mildly freaked out for like 30 seconds and i was like oh wait <laughs> i was like oh shit why am i not having period symptoms i mildly freaked okay, out for like so 30 seconds anyway don't do uh, drugs kids is what the message behind that statement was <laughs> jen has to put jen has to put what, into her planner that she doesn't get her period about? Oh fuck! Focus, last episode, people. That would have been our. No, to- dude, I you can't make I, me. I, I have my ADD meds have actually worn off today, so this is going to be interesting <laughs> to try rating this. Training. And I'm not drinking to calm me down and focus me. No fuck. <laughs> yes. Great. Um. So our last episode, I believe. Hang on, if I pull that up on the internets here, and wasn't use it the NASA episode? Rambling. Uh, no, that's our the one we've got in the pipeline coming out this Friday. No, the one we got in the pipeline coming out this Friday is Mandisa. I thought that's what you said. Mm. Um, oh, you're going to have her on. Okay, let's see. We had oh, no. her on. We had her no, on. That's the Sorry. Next. The last episode we did was the one where we spent pretty much half an hour making fun of Larry Nassar. Yeah, the, I thought uh, it was the Nassar episode. Olympic gymnast rapist guy uh, who had to face over a hundred of his victims and whined about how difficult it was to actually have to face up. I know. I'm just shedding so many tears for him. Well, I, uh, the show we're putting oh, out next that, is yeah. Mandy Thomas yeah. came on for us. And even Chris doesn't know about this, but we are in the works for the show after Mandisa to be Matt Dillahoney. Chris got quiet. Mm, <laughs> like, he's like, and then we were approached by um, David Silverman. Well, as that's well. No, so we're no, trying to work no, that out. Oh God! Okay. What? Fuck you! What? I just uh, white dudes. I'm done. But anyway, you, you do. What do you mean white dudes? Mandisa, Mandisa Thomas is a white dude. I would gladly let her know. You purposely, (laughs) you purposely did not under, anyway, whatever y'all do you, but, but I'm glad y'all, you know, I'm glad y'all getting the big wigs on. That's all good. You know, y'all usually don't have guests on, I don't think. Oh, it's the convention, sir. You know how it is when you run conventions, you fucking meet everyone and it's like, hey. Wait, who's (laughs) running conventions? You know, you know, like when you do conventions, you wind up meeting everybody and you're like, it's just like, hey, fuck it. We've met. Come do my show. Oh, I thought you said yes. running conventions. I'm like, no, what the I don't you're have in? the fucking hours in a day to do that shit. That's why. I, that's why I um stepped back. I was gonna step up for NanoCon this year because Patrick Horst, right fucking here. I was like, I just didn't have the time to uh to do it. I actually have to. We have to do the advertisement, Chris. I put it in the group chat. Oh, but yeah, I, I just I, sleep I, I just didn't have the time to do that. I'll have to do it. So I mean, shit. It's what is fuck. It's only a month away now, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. About a month. Give away. or save yeah. a couple of days. I'm so fucking excited about it. I miss you guys. I miss you guys so fucking much. I miss Mandisa. I I fucking miss the shit out of you guys. I look forward to NanoCon every year. Like it doesn't matter where in the world I'm living. I'm fucking doing NanoCon. I'm going to NanoCon because I miss the shit out of you guys. Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck you. No. I do. What the fuck? Can I be fucking nice calm just fucking once? Sh- you fucking despicable mm. shit. Can I be nice calm, once? Calm down. <laughs> All right. Just smile Shut more. Up. Are you on your period? <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you on your period? <laughs> 
Yeah. You don't even have them anymore, I reckon. Uh, no, it's fabulous. Anyway, so y'all have those big wigs on, and then apparently you just rambled about Larry, what's his name? Nasser. Nasser. The, uh, Nassar, 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 whatever the fuck. Who gives a shit? For to half an hour. Name, right? Who gives a shit to get his name right? He's a yeah, shit. trying to parse out some of the, a couple of the little details of the case, get, shed light on things. Tried to really take um, focus off of him and more so put more of it onto the victims and even the judge in the case who, um, she really stood out just in terms of the fact that, you know, it was a female judge who didn't just let a lot of the bullshit idly by. A female um, judge who so has doctors no in her family. Don't forget that. A female judge who right. actually has doctors so, in her family. So parsed a lot of the the details of it and tried to be a little irreverent, but uh, I, I heard from one of our, our biggest fans that we could have been more irreverent. So I actually you. read I an tired. article uh, that was had an interesting take on it that most people probably wouldn't agree with, I would think. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm curious it's not a, now. It's not a good example of as much as emotionally satisfying as it, it as it was. It, it's not really an example of. Uh, so I don't know if you're familiar with. I'm sure you are familiar with kind of the, the prison reform mm-hmm. movement or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I have to find the article, but basically, I guess it's the principle of it. It's not him so much and what he did, but it's not an example of what we're trying to do with the reform. It's more retributive and less uh, uh, reform. And that goes for, you know, the prison system in this country. I'm sure y'all would agree with that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally for prison reform. Don't get me wrong. But the point of prison reform is to get low level addicts out of the prison system so that we have room for fucking rapists like this. <laughs> no, I mean, you're right. I, I don't have an article in front of me. I don't remember. I don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm right. for prison reform for, like, treating addiction as a health crisis and not a criminal aspect, you know, not a, yeah, not could, a crime. Could you imagine a world where that was the oh, case? Whoa, right? I'm for that. I'm for mandatory sentencings. On certain like lower level misdemeanors, lower level felonies, so that we have the room and we have the resources to house pieces of shit like this until somebody decides to beat his ass to death at the fucking chow hall. Okay, see, no. That's exactly what I'm talking about, though. And we can't, it's like I said, I mean, you can't, You. it's emotionally satisfying to do that. But I mean, if we're going to, if you're going to uphold a principle, you got to apply it to everybody. Otherwise, it's fucking worthless. Right? No, but that, that to me is the point of prison reform is, you know, our jails are overcrowded. We're getting, you know, the private prison complex and everything else. You're putting people in to make money for the minorest of offenses or, you know, addictions. And then you've got guys like this piece of shit who raped people over the course of 20 fucking years. And we have overcrowding, so he's getting out on parole. No. Let's keep him in. Have him do the fucking no, thing. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not arguing not to fucking let him go or anything. Like, uh, no. like I said, I haven't have really heard. No, it, a lot of this, I mean, <laughs> they, he was a scapegoat, though. If you're one to be, when well, he wasn't really a scapegoat. Well, he wasn't, well, no, he wasn't a scapegoat. He actually fucking assaulted and raped children. But there are many, 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 many other people that need to go on the hook for this. Exactly. Oh, uh, absolutely. Many more. They knew this shit was happening, and they didn't do anything. Right, for years. It. For years. So, I think... Well, no, not when you've got families paying thousands of dollars a year for to keep their kids enrolled in these programs. I mean, come on. Why would you kill... Why would you uh, get rid of that? This is the kill second the time man. I'm You're talking about a fucking rapist today. Okay, let's not. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. I, it's just... <laughs> I just found that article and I thought it was an interesting take. I think more of the point was uh, the ins- the institutions are getting away with shit. Oh yeah. Oh, for oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. Hey, well, if you find the article, send it our way. Maybe we'll talk about it. And more. actually, I think we did an episode prior to that on toxic masculinity and what it leads to. We sure did. And There's I have nothing. an example. I, don't know I have you, an example of toxic masculinity oh, today. Boy. Go ahead. Enough. Go ahead. So, uh, so as. Some or all of none of you may not. Fuck you. Hell yeah. Some or all of none of you may know. Jen has taken a job as a relationship coach. She helps people get back together with their exes. She helps (laughs) them. I know, right? I know. Oh, oh my God. I have the most fucked up, inflamed, unconventional relationship. And I'm a fucking relationship coach. Anyway, 
Jesus. I get a guy that comes on. I get a guy that comes to me today, and he tells me that his girlfriend left him because she woke up to his dick in her having sex with her and he's hyper focused on getting back with her and i said okay i said is this the first time this has happened no it's happened a few times but she's come back every time and i said okay let's get to the root of this is it a sex addiction and you can't control the urges or do you feel entitled to sex from her well really it's both and my fucking head's ready to fucking explode. So I'm trying to get across to this guy that he raped his girlfriend. Good luck with times. that. Multiple times. I just need to know how to talk to her to get her back. And I was like, you know, what you need to fucking do is leave her the fuck alone and get some goddamn help. I was like, she can, she can have you put in prison, dude. Like, we're talking minimum seven fucking years here. He still did not see anything wrong with the fact that his passed out asleep girlfriend woke up to his dick in and out of her and thinks there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, my God. Chris, Keith, when you started Keith this podcast like... tonight, did you think that this is where we were going to go? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Chris knows me. Yeah, we're really kidding. It's us. Chris knows me too. Well, Chris has actually been my um my kind of mental savior a lot of the time, and I really kind of owe him a lot for that. So, All right. All right. Calm down. Anyway. We're having yeah, drinks. Let's not get too emotional. Come on. Nat O'Con, we're, we're having drinks. Oh, well, yeah, that's already I'm, – I'm kind of pissed that they didn't do it at the place they did it last year because I really liked that place. I liked that place, but they wanted to do it back at the school and whatever. Chris has also seen me be physically carried out of a Nashville nightclub to his car. Yeah, but you wait like – 83 pounds. It, it like, wasn't because hard. I was drunk. It, I could do that with one hand. It wasn't because I was drunk. It was because I wore two high heels and my feet were hurting. Like Literally, like, you could wrap yourself around my arm and I could walk around with you. Yeah, probably. Mm, I don't know. Like she, a little monkey. She's gaining yeah. a little weight. So. No, I actually lost a bit more. I actually lost a little bit. The The surgery knocked off, I think it was like two and a half, three pounds of just uterus. So okay, that knocked I, that off. I know, right? Like, you want to know how fucked up it is? I have a three-pound uterus. What the fuck do you have? All right. So that knocked so off a bit, working out. Didn't know that thing had that much weight. I know. I want to I point out that I uh, saw a, a tweet come across my feed, and the name was Carlos Danger. <sighs> and, really? <laughs> and, I, and I look, and it is the most pretentious canadian fuckwad ever <laughs> keith in what universe are you carlos danger <laughs> i got bored of just being the regular atheist in yyc and i saw that that was was it anthony wiener's yes name that it he was, was anthony using? wiener's handle it's carlos and danger. i'm i heard that and i I died laughing. To be wait, honest, wait. When I heard that that was the name he went by. What is it with the sex offenders tonight? <laughs> you, he's Don't the one know. that picked the fucking name. But I, mean, I, I, you look at this guy, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull him up because I really want to describe him. Like <laughs> he, honestly, is such an awkward and uncomfortable looking <laughs> human being. Like most of the pictures, he. He just – he has those pursed lips that he looks like he's trying to, like, puff himself up, trying to, like, hold he's the air in He's about 75 pounds, like, soaking wet. He, he looks like he's always damp. <laughs> and, like, take a, take a take fucking look. Like, just Google the name Anthony Weiner, pull up the images, and honestly, he looks so awkward, so uncomfortable – he always looks like he's sweating. <laughs> like his hair always has that kind of like sheen. It's wet look. It's a sheen. He has a sheen about him. <laughs> and and when I found out he called himself Carlos Danger, <laughs> it was to me the funniest thing I have ever seen to know that a, a human being who just <laughs> embodied creepy uncle or, or even creepy neighbor, I don't care. Just embodied that. Oh my god, they compared him to a meerkat, and it it, it suits <gasps> it. Like no, meerkats are cute. He's a sweating meer. They are, but he's a sweating meerkat. Um, he does have a sheen to him. He does, and I'm just like, why would you go by Carlos Danger? Like, it's not that <laughs> badass of a name, but at the same time, it's glorious. Thank you for giving me that idea. So, 
<laughs> I've seen a lot of different Twitter handles. Like people will change their name to funny things like that, and I was like, sure, I can hop on that bandwagon this one time. Carlos fucking danger. I remember when I was doing the official water tweet or whatever the fuck you call it. I, I looked up your handle and I had to stop for a second. I was like, oh my God, did he really do this? Like, do I really want to associate this account with our show right now? Like, I don't know. If I want to do yeah, that. you fucking do. <laughs> ow, ow, I'm sorry. Oh, Jen got stung by a wasp today in February and she keeps fucking going over it. It hurts like son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't <laughs> He's like, this is my like show, just, and I have no idea what just happened. I'm pretty. He's sure. like, I have lost control. How? Am I? <laughs> yeah, this is. This is. Is there any long term? Uh, so you just changed the the website, and we changed the website. We got a new Twitter. The Facebook's the same. We have a YouTube channel now, also, which is just what, or is it just to put like the audio audio? Yeah, it's just the audio versions. over a static picture because some people like to keep YouTube open, like during work and shit. So yeah, I was like, fuck it, let's get on the YouTubers too. Why the fuck not? We have so basically. Um, you just, wait, what's that thing called? The RSS feed. We have that. We have an email. We have like an actual official email that. now. It's ridiculous. What is it? Not another atheist podcast at gmail dot com. Oh wow, that's. I know, I know. It's so original. Original. Well, Carlos we Danger was taken, think. so. It was. <laughs> so, are y'all actually going to put out consistent shit, or is yes, this be we are actually. Jen has yep, a that's... beautiful planner that she started this year this lovely big block thing this big old brick and she is actually keeping herself to a schedule with a ledger and times and calendars and yes <laughs> okay. my fiance is trying to get me going on that oh before we move on i do have to ask and i know that this will be on air jen what? our twitter account is following another twitter account that i can't figure out why why the fuck are we following diamond and silk I have no idea who's Diamond and Silk. I was just We are following <laughs> several Trump supporters, like avid rabbit. Oh, hell yeah, Trump we are. Hell yeah, we accounts. are cuz I cuz they fucking put out the most hilarious material and they wind up following us first, which freaks me out. And I'm like, yeah, okay, give me some fucking Twitter fod. We'll be a couple more minutes. Ooh, the pussy is taking control, ladies and gentlemen. And now we see Keith in his natural habitat of being locked in the cage under his bed because pussy has said so. You don't you need done? To say shit. <laughs> what? You done? What? What do I? What do I? Do? No, wait, 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 wait! Hold the fuck up! What do you mean I don't say shit? I don't, I can't say shit. What? You're dick whipped. I am not dick whipped. If I was, Ooh. oh no! If I was dick whipped, I would be sucking his dick at his place right now. But instead, I am here doing your show. I see him maybe once or twice a week. Whatever. So whatever, yeah. whatever. You keep telling yourself that's fine. The dick you is do. fucking amazing, though. I'm shit. I'm All like, right. This- <laughs> <laughs> How often is this show coming out? It's going to be weekly, bi-weekly. 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 We're keeping well, a bi-weekly schedule. Um, that's just because Jen works full-time. She's a mom. I work more than full-time, and I'm getting and married. So pussy basically, whipped. I'm... So, yeah. Anyway. We're busy funny. people. <laughs> when are you getting married again, Keith? In October. That's Do, you gonna know? Be a, Do you know how much I love you? It's going to be a lovely fall wedding. Do you know how much I love you? Do you know I'm mm. flying like 16 fucking hours to go to your fucking wedding? Why the fuck are you flying layovers? Hours? Nothing has. There's nothing without a massive layover. What? I'm traveling it's, 16. Who the fuck wants to go to Calgary? Exactly. I'm traveling 16 fucking hours to come. To Actually, your we're wedding. we have we're kind of the gateway. Um, we're the only real international airport. Edmonton, go fuck yourself. Um, that exists in this area, so a lot of people will fly international to calgary and then they'll fly like small charter planes to you know northern alberta or saskatchewan because apparently people still fly to saskatchewan and Corey, all in all so don't make don't mind me don't mind oh i want to see that canadian canadian boxing drag out match where y'all just apologize to each other every time you hit each other or something that'd be fun oh yeah I'm okay not apologizing so if you're gonna to bring anybody. that up I'm going to tell you a story about a Canadian standoff I had a couple of weeks ago. Oh, boy. The wife and I decided it was late night. We were both hungry, so we went to get some fast food. 
McDonald's because, you know, self-loathing and they're the only fucking place that's open 24 hours. Right. So Delish. off we go to the Golden Archers. Delish. We go in, we grab our food. And as we're leaving, somebody opens the door for us and I had opened the door for him. And it's that really awkward moment where we're like, are you going to go? Am I going to go? And then we both looked at each other and we both realized at the exact same moment, we were having a literal Canadian standoff. Who could be more polite than the other? Oh, my God. Speaking of which, I need your Facebook wedding page again because I don't know. Oh, shit. We have one of those. Yeah, because I have to do the RSVP and I have no idea where the fucking invitation went. So, Oh, shit. I guess I should find that and invite reinvite Jen. Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, so, so you're getting married um, October, which I don't understand why you would get married in October. I got married in October. In the first no, time. In, no, that's fine. <laughs> in motherfucking Calgary. No, I got married the first week in October at Fort Drum, New York, in Watertown, New York, which is which gets more snow than Calgary, and on average is colder than Calgary. Then that's just why. I don't understand. because I was a fucking idiot with that marriage. That's why. Well, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. No. So she, uh, my fiance, decided she wanted a fall wedding, and being the good fiance that I am, I gave her my opinion, and then and agreed she to planned fall. it anyway. <laughs> no, it actually it, it it is really nice. Um, our colors are red and gold, so it just matches everything. Oh really nice. Okay, God, so does that mean what? does that mean There's I can't colors? wait? I see. I'm I'm so bad. Is does that mean that I can't wear red? No, wear red. Believe me, they will. The Filipino people will love you. Oh, okay. So wear a red dress. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. So there's colors. God, you're yes. fucking. Oh my God. I'm domesticated. Ooh, no. Keith, our last facfacebook messages are pretty bad do you want to delete those that's stuff which facebook messages the ones anyway we talked about last time okay so i don't know what you're talking about i don't know if i want to know so no you don't you really don't so we're getting married uh i've seen her she's a she's a hottie so uh i'm i'm convinced she's working off like a dui and i am her lifelong community service no she's (laughs) stuck in fucking calgary that's what the problem is there's not much to choose from. Also true. Also, you true. know, you know, it's it's actually it's actually pretty cool. We're all actually kind of dating good-looking people. Who's you all? That's very right. well. You don't know. You've never seen who I'm dating. I'm assuming. Have you? I think so. Oh, so okay. You, Keith, how the fuck do I RSVP on this shit? Uh, um, your guess is as good okay. as mine. This Whatever. isn't the place <laughs> to fucking discuss that. Shit. <laughs> Whatever. You know. I don't know. I've already. Eaten it. It's already obvious that I'm going. So, w- where's the Nanacon? So let's talk about Nanacon. Uh, Ooh, Nanacon fuck yes. me. Let me pull the page up because I'm a shitty panelist. So Nanacon. Keith obviously isn't going to be there. No, it's just going to be no, me um, again. Yeah. It will be held at Glencliff High School, She's which is at 160 Antioch Pike in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, 11 a.m.? <gasps> we don't have to show up at 7 this year? Fucking sweet. So it says Saturday, seven, March 17th fucking. at 11 a.m. Remember last year we showed up at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning? Oh, 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 oh. Remember? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I remember. I just don't know why they're doing it. So, oh, yeah, I remember last year. That was the year I had to drive all the way up there. Mm-hmm. We left here at like, and, what was it, like 6 in the morning? And I then drive all the way back. Yeah, well, I'm running a yeah, hotel room, was, and I'm going with somebody. I'm going with the boyfriend, so you don't have to worry about that this year. Thank God. Yay, boyfriend. Did he, was he seriously just, twerking when he said that? What? I just, I swear to God, huh? I think I just watched Keith twerk when he said boyfriend. Nope. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't, who's going to be the main people? Okay. Let's God see. damn it, now I got to fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Dilla Honey, Mandisa Thomas. There's a whole bunch of people. Hold on. Who plus it up? Uh, Magda Nine, Bosco. I've heard his name. I'm not sure. 18. Sh- yada, yada, bleh. Sure. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Speakers are. Oh, wow. It looks, really, it looks much prettier on a desktop. Matt Dillahunty will beat the keynote speaker, who is the host of the Atheist, Atheist Experience. Dr. Marissa Richmond, who is the founder of the Tennessee Transgender Political Coalition. Yes. Coalition. Yes. The fuck? Anthony, who I can never pronounce his last name. Magna Bosco. Magna Bosco, thank you. Street, I can't even talk tonight. He's a YouTube personality. Mandisa Thomas, the president of Black Nonbelievers, will be speaking. Bart Camplo, who's the author, who is the an author and a humanist chaplain at the University of Cincinnati. 
Dr. Daryl Ray, who is the founder of Recovering from Religion, Phil Ferguson, who is the president of, the, of Polaris Financial Planning, and he's also an activist. Kelly Hel- Phil Ferguson's going to be there? Yeah. Kelly Helton, who is also God an activist, damn. activist with the Tri-State Freethinkers. Fernando, Al- I'm sorry, Fernando, I'm fucking up your name. Fernando Alcantar, Alcantar, he's an author, educator, uh, Author, educator, gaytheist, and immigrant advocate. Gaytheist, I love that. Gail Jordan, my girl, who is running for office in Tennessee, and it looks like she is beating this person's ass. She is from Recovering from Religion. She's also a lawyer, so if you guys have any kind of legal First Amendment questions, and you guys need to come out and you know hear her campaign. It's actually really amazing. Jim Helton, the national or field organizer for American Atheists, will be speaking. Monica Burns, one of the founders of Black non I'm sorry, the founder of non-black. I'm sorry, Mandisa, Black non-believers Louisville, and Glenda God Jordan, damn. who is a model, performer, and dancer, will be the keynote speakers. The workshops and panels will be ours, naturally. Who will have me and Chris and Tucker Drake, and we actually get Patrick and Jenica Crail, which is awesome that they're driving down, and I miss them terribly. We have the Street Episiology, Episiology, whatever. It's Anthony's workshop. I can't talk tonight. Epistemology, Episiology. Thank you. I can't. I don't, I don't even know where the fuck we were talking about my uterus. And now I start thinking of episiotomies. Hold on. Hell yes. Hell yes. How humanist values can improve your sex life. I know some of you may need that. Sign me up twice. With Ian Dodd and Mar, and Margaret Page, our podcasting panel, How to Money with Phil Ferguson. Embracing your fetish with Steve with Steven Davidson. Yeah, we're gonna have fun this year. Sociosexual orientation explaining the mystery of kinks to fetishes with Daryl Ray. Darwinian demons. How evolution brings out the worst in us and what to do about it with Brian Gitchlog. I'm sorry, I'm fucking your name up. The infiltration of religious bias into the school system and what we can do about it with Sarah Key. The power of touch workshop with Bob Faw. Humanism 101 with Kali Mul. Mulgolin, I'm sorry if I fucked that up. The S word, reclaiming spirituality in the secular community with Jim Palmer. Assertiveness, no, 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 yes, yes with Dr. Brenda Quinn. The shame exchange exchange with John Cullimore. Strategic protest planning with Jen Scott. My, uh, my sweetie. How to avoid activist burnout with Trav Mamone. I know I always fuck up Trav's last name. And that is who the panels will be. We have music and comedy with Meet the Seavers, Steve Goody. Tracy Barkley, and that's it with that. <laughs> so that's who's showing up. So that'll be good. It'll be some good networking, meet some really fucking cool people, and we're fucking awesome to hang out with. So, And my group, Clarksville Atheist, will be showing out in force. We will probably have our sweatshirts on, so come out and meet us if you're in the Clarksville, Oak Grove, Hopkinsville, Montgomery, Christian County area. We We'd love to talk to you. We would love to have you. And we're kind of weird, but we like to drink and we're really fucking chill. Chris, I apologize. I think you might be able to hear the wife singing in the background right now. Okay, I'm done. Really fucking <laughs> chill. I don't know about that part, but you like to drink. We are fucking awesome. Go fuck yourself. You wouldn't yeah, know. Kidding. You don't show up to Sounds anything. like you got a really good lineup. Yeah, we got a really good lineup this year. Oh, I feel like if that comes, up, if I come up there, I got to crash somewhere because there's no way I'm driving back down. You're like, oh, book a fucking hotel room. You You're can't crash here because the boyfriend crashes here, the boyfriend crashes here, and then the kid's here, and then mom's here. So that's too many people in the house. And you really don't want to crash here and hear what happens after poker nights. Okay. Well, whatever. You really don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Calm down. <laughs> For those of you anyway. playing the Podog Polymath so podcast the- home game. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything really happening right now that's show. really grinding your gears? Wait, you're breaking up. I can't hear what you're saying. Is there anything that's grinding y'all's gears right now? How does Clarksville have better fucking internet than where you are? How does that happen? I'm sorry? <laughs> like, seriously, how does that happen? <laughs> What's wrong? I said, how does Clarksville have better internet than where you are? How does that happen? There's nothing wrong with my fucking internet. It's y'all's My internet's internet. fucking, nope, my internet's fucking great. Fuck you. I got fiber optic. Go fuck that. I got good shit. Mm, whatever. Anyway. Mm, mm. I, I, I just, because Jen brought it up and I wanted to make sure I didn't forget it. So I, I just pull, tried to pull up the wedding page and I got lazy. So I pulled up Spillman Wedding, which is my last name. And I've got a picture of a Hasidic Jewish wedding. 
and I can't figure out who has what name. <laughs> so it's the, the headline says Wedding of Schloim Weinstein and Rivki Spielman. Wow. What the fuck kind of names are those? Wow. I know Hold they're Jewish, up. but. Hold up now. Wow. Let's not get anti Semitic now, bro. Like, it's just, just because I have strange names to you does not mean. Yes, they may be strange names to you, but culturally they are very normal names in the Jewish community. Yeah, I just want to know, like, who's who and how do I pronounce them? Because I'm actually, this is more a matter of me wondering, like, who's I don't who? Know. There's like, f- which one's the, like, I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I just, this is going to keep me up tonight now. All right, so that's the thing that keeps you up. Ask. Of course, you're in Canada, so I guess, you know. You I know, worry, right? Worry yeah, about. pretty much. Trump is Jesus fucking Christ. You're not going to get your fucking boxes of food. Or whatever. Instead of oh, I'm your gonna go. I'm gonna go food. buy all of Jim Backer's stuff. It's fine. Your shelf stable food. Yeah, I just I can't even anymore. I, I really can't. <laughs> this is and why. This butt- is why we get super drunk after conventions because this is all the shit we hear all day, and then we need to. Right. Just we know from Plus, now on, never go to Louisville. <laughs> what's in Louisville? Remember uh, when we went for Kentucky oh, Free Thought and everything closed at two o'clock. <laughs> I don't know what's going Chris, on. Chris, Chris came on a coffee hunt with us. We drove all around Louisville looking for one fucking place that had coffee. So we find this place, right? Yeah, it was hipster. And we, it ended up being some. Hipster it was totally thing. hipster. Well, it, it was, was totally college. It was totally hipster. And this guy walks in with these typical right wing tattoos with the don't tread on me and the fucking confederate flag, and he's dressed in fucking like cut off army fatigues. And holy shit, he's gay. Yeah, that was weird. And we were like, we need to get the fuck out of this city. Everything closes at 2 o'clock on a Saturday, and then we see this shit, and we need to fucking leave. Yeah, that was pretty bizarre. Was I go on neat. adventures with Chris. I, mean, I go on adventures with Chris, like, all the time. I love our adventures. Uh, all the time? What the fuck? We well, every, ta- every time we see each other, it turns into some kind of adventure. Like oh, the bike peddlers. well, yeah. The bike peddlers at, la- at Nashville's last year's NanoCon. The fucking bike peddlers. Oh, that was only and because then I, that was an adventure unless you were triggered, which apparently was triggered. I was totally triggered. I was totally. Chris actually locked the windows and locked me in the car because he was afraid I was going to get out and beat the shit out of somebody that night. And then he watches me get carried out of a Nashville nightclub in sparkly glitter heels. And then it what? was and then it was the hunt for coffee and loot. <laughs> Oh, that was the night you were trying to hit on the bouncer. I remember, uh, not the bouncer, the, uh, I don't remember. Server? Bar? I don't know. The bartender? I don't know. I don't, yeah, that didn't go anywhere fast. I met AJ about a month after that, I want to say. It was, yeah, it was like a month after that. Maybe a little less, little less than two months after that, we started dating. And then we had the whole drama thing in Chattanooga, which we will not bring up, but Chris knows what I'm talking about. We have adventures. <laughs> we have fucking adventures. <laughs> I mean, Chris, like, I can only imagine what NanoCon has in store for us. Fuck the convention. I just want to see what kind of adventures me and Chris are going to go on. Yeah. It looks like uh, Keith is uh, being a dick. Cause, and missing know, out. Yeah. You're not married yet. So just let you know. Oh. Keith. I'm fully aware. Oh. Oh. And if you don't want to throw shade. Damn. It's, um... Yeah, but you're already calling her wife, so uh, hmm. Well, yeah. See, see, I'm allowed. I'm allowed to go to conventions when I want to. For now, maybe for now. Well, he's an atheist. No, he's he's actually. There are no fucking conventions here. He's an atheist. He's an atheist that actually loves going to conventions. So I kind of lucked out. (laughs) But like, I get to record for as long as I want, and I get to go to conventions. Well, Keith has to leave dur, 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 Look at me. Yes. We have been dealing with medical emergencies. My mother-in-law-to-be. I'm in talking about even before this. Morning. Fuck you. NanoCon and... was a year ago. I'm sorry your mother-in-law is... I'm glad she's doing better. And you know I genuinely mean that, but... We're talking and we're all very tired. Okay. <laughs> Don't even. Don't fucking even. Tired is a fucking way of life for me. It's not even a... Feeling. All it's right. It's just a state right. of being. Apparently. Yeah, it's Jesus. always a competition with Jen. Always, because I'm the shit. I'm the best, don't you know? I anyway, thought we established. Well, Keith, this thanks for coming on. I really. It has been an absolute pleasure. You two have fun. Are we, we still recording, Chris? 
Yes, we're still recording. Oh, Another okay. So it's just. Minutes. Oh, okay. Cool. So it'll just be me. Yeah, you you guys enjoy talking about uh, NanoCon. You're just jealous because you're not coming. Duh. Actually, I have a plus one. You should totally fly out and come. Yeah, because he's gonna fly all the way out. I don't even know how much that fucking shit would be. Jesus Christ. Um. Well, I would know because I'm actually mm-hmm. flying from Calgary, Nashville to Calgary. Hmm. Well, I, I don't. I don't see any reason I would ever do that. There is. There would be nothing. Hold on, wait. I actually have it here. Why YYC to be in a flight? Okay. Well, how much? I is actually it? have it here. Like in my history. I don't know, but I'm gonna go now. <laughs> it's about four hundred bucks for a round trip. Well, that's not bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's four hundred bucks that I should be putting towards uh, my oh, wedding. Okay. See, oh God. All right, debt. All right, the whip. All right. Well, go go be whipped. Go do your whipping, or actually be whipped. A go whipping. Be whipped. Anyway, I'm gonna. Go on, Keith. Go I'm on. gonna. Go be whipped. You, Good night. You you Thank you do. for having us. I'm Carlos still here, Danger. ladies and gentlemen. Out. See ya. The one that counts. Uh huh. Well, fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nanacon, uh, we could, yeah, okay. Keep telling yourself that. So, Nanacon's going to be. See, I thought initially there was supposed to be a two day thing, but maybe they changed their mind. No, it's, Nanacon will always forever be a one day thing. Well, that's what I thought too, so I don't know why he. But anyway. Uh, I think Reason Con it just kind of took that for the South. Uh, Reason Con's a just yeah. I wanted to trip. go to the um, American Atheist Convention, but I can't afford those prices. Nope. <laughs> like, I, I, nope. All the no nope possible. There's no way I would go anyway. Why? Because I I'm, I'm done with atheists. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Really? I'm done with the whole atheist Movement. thing. Why? I, Have I you just, found Jesus? I, Oh no, I'm not, I don't mean, okay, see, now you're being purposely kind of <laughs> dickish. I, I, I'm always purposely kind of dickish. There, yeah, well, I don't know, just, uh, atheists piss me off. I mean, ones that are self-declared atheists, I guess, I don't know. You mean like they the just militant tend, ones? No, just, just tend to be dickish. I, I, I try to go as secular, like social justice stuff or stuff like that i don't know people who say they're atheists oh my god like they just tend to be i don't know they tend to care more about that than some other thing they tend to like. be pretentious yeah i don't like and, that yeah. I, I don't i'm not big on the whole and if you'll notice the vast majority of them are white dudes so that's another reason oh yeah for... oh yeah i mean that that i will agree with the vast majority are white dudes i will agree with that well, so I'm not big on severe that. minority lacking in the atheist community, which is oh, why well, I wanted to have Mandisa on, you know, because I mean, black non-believers and she's a woman like, wow, OK, let's, you know, give well, the minorities out here. Yeah, voice, but know? she doesn't need to be like the only she's like the token. She doesn't need to be I know, the only person. I know. And I hate that. That's ridiculous. I mean, not that she's obviously she knows I love her or whatever. She right. On the show. But it's just the fact that she shouldn't be the like the, the only person. No, like, I'm shouldn't. glad it, at least Nanacon has Marissa Richmond, who I actually want to meet her. And there's a couple other. Uh, there's a black guy. I, I don't even like saying because it's like a, you're filling in bubbles or whatever. OK, yeah. there's a black guy. There's a black guy. There's a chick. There's a black woman. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to do the that quality check marks. Well, but it's almost, you almost have to, it seems like, because. No, you're totally right. And it's kind of sad, which it doesn't surprise me, I guess, because this has largely been a kind of a and white it, movement, I guess. Well, it trips me out, too, because, like, I mean, Clarksville's, Clarksville's not by any means a small town, but it's not by any means a city either. And the way we're headed up, we have, we have five people that kind of had the group. I think we're at over 400 members now. Three women. A black guy and an Arabic guy is who heads up this group. And I'm like, oh, if we out of 400 people can find more diversity in this fucking social circle, then why are we not finding more diversity well, in the community? Because clearly it's, it's a military town, though. That's it's a military town. And you got a fucking to town of 120,000 people. And the one atheist fucking group in the town is more culturally diverse than the entire fucking demographic. Like, there's something fucking wrong here. Oh, I know. It's the South. I mean... <laughs> I mean, in I mean, general. I mean, in general. Yeah, especially the fact that you found this kind of diverse leadership in the South is is trippy shit. But you know, it's like if a fucking group of four hundred people can be more diverse, there's a fucking problem. 
Yeah, but I think a lot of it has to do with kind of exposure to different cultures. I mean, you're just in general, you tend to you tend to seek out that sort of thing when you just if you happen if you're like that anyway. Right. If well, that and you know, Clarksville's kind of a very blended city. You know, with the military base and the college, and we're or it's, it tends to be a very blended city. It you tends to you be don't find a lot of locals. City. You don't find a lot of I was born and raised here people. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's definitely got that air about it. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you're not going to find that. I mean, I went to school up there, so I mean, not, I only you went, went to AP, there. right? Yeah, but yeah. I only came up there for like exams and shit because it was an online thing. Okay. But yeah, I, but yeah, my grandmother, well, my great grandmother was in a nursing home up there, so I, I, I it just it, it seems like it's kind of stagnant some of that stuff is like from the 70s and shit so and see um, and this is where clarksville has a problem we the city is it's it's booming like way too far beyond its limits it, it the city's exploding and instead of putting in sidewalks or restructuring the public transportation system they're building an ice rink they built an ice rink one of our longest standing yes. local businesses is now at risk of leaving because the city doesn't want to honor their end of the bargain to expand their brewery like it's very much stuck in this it's it's obvious that it's kind of coming into the 21st century in a very big way clarksville is actually extremely progressive it's extremely diverse but the powers that be want to keep it stuck in this small town 1970s mentality and it's been actually quite an interesting power struggle to watch the growth versus the old money it's been a very interesting power struggle to live here and watch that. So I just kind of sit back for so. a bit with it. It's interesting. Which is why you need to come up here more because we're actually kind of awesome up here. No, you're not. Yes, we are. No, that pl- I hate that place. The Fuck passion. you. You love me, though. It's a shithole. I'm sorry. It's just a shithole. It's shit gotten hole. better. Every time I went up there, fucking something was fucking broken. Roads are all, there's always construction up there. They never seem like they're finishing anything. Fucking people get shot up there all the damn time. The it's only one small there? part of Clarksville that people get shot up in all the fucking time, okay? Nobody gets shot in my neighborhood. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Plus, anytime there's a fucking tornado, it seems to hit up there. Which I'm No, actually, there. Clarksville is what's known as the Fort Campbell bubble. For some reason, we get the worst fucking tornadoes in all the surrounding areas, but we're like under a dome. We call it the Fort Campbell-Clarksville bubble. The Fort Campbell, like the airfields will get hit. The training areas will get hit, but none of the residential areas. Oak Grove won't get hit. Clarksville won't get hit. It's the most bizarre thing. It's the most bizarre fucking thing. I don't know. I just know that. And it's, when it snows, it tends to get a lot of shit, too. Um, it's, it doesn't get as bad here, but because they're... You guys hear about the school closings a lot. And Clarksville has a city budget, but Montgomery County has a separate budget. But... The school system is the Clarksville Montgomery County school system. So it's 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 just a pain in the ass. It's it's Whatever. just a fucking pain in the ass. I mean it has a potential, I guess, but it really it, is. it's just one of those things where I just <laughs> That's like one you thing said, they need I to get their shit together with it. Resistance. Resistant to change, I guess. Yes, the 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 powers that be seem to be very resistant to change, but it's coming down to the point that they kind of can't not acknowledge it because the city is just exploding. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I kind of dig it here. So, I kind of dig it here. I got a good group of so, friends. It's awesome. Yeah, I know. We always hear about it. It's super one. Um. <laughs> so, <laughs> like do y'all that. have any any super future plans or whatever? I mean, do y'all how how far out do you have guests lined up? Um, right now, like only a week. <laughs> like we do it oh, since we okay. do it biweekly. We kind of just plan out the next guest and because if we book it way too far in advance, I'm going to lose track of it. I'm going to totally lose track of it and forget. So that's why we only do it one guest out. Our next guest is Matt Delahoney, who's an awesome guy. Matt's cool. We're going to have him come on and bullshit for a little bit. And then we're going to try to schedule some other people. And we want you to come back on, too. Well, I mean, you know, I'm a busy guy, so I have to pencil you in. But, you oh, know. my God. Shut up. What's, what's wrong? Oh what? Gosh. Have you not noticed I'm on the fucking convention circuit, man? I know. I usually do them with you. I mean, I drove to fucking Springfield for fuck's sake. Really? Shit, even I didn't do that. I I yeah, do I conventions. To- I start my I start my convention season off with NanoCon, and then I end my convention season Labor Day. That's my convention season, and that's when you guys will see Jen. And you're, if you missed it, you're just gonna have to wait till fucking next season to get her. 
Yeah, and we're all just sad about that, too. I know. Sure. I know. You guys miss me. I know you guys love me so much. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I know. You're just going to so, be yeah, I went... throwing flower petals at me when I walk through the door at NanoCon. I... Oh, okay. I'm going to need you to calm down <laughs> a little bit. The only thing I'm not happy about, we're going to have to do something about, well, the alcohol. What? But we'll, be... well, they didn't say we couldn't drink in the parking lot. Yeah, that's my thought, too. We're going we're to have to get a keg in the, in the trunk. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I would offer my boyfriend's car, but his trunk is a fucking nightmare. But I may be able to bring some bottles of scotch. Oh, no, you can keep that. I can I, to- I, mean, like, I can totally be wine drunk by noon. I, well, Just that's what happened problem. last time. No, I, I didn't drink last time. I didn't drink drunk. last time. Well, not you. I was, me and Joe were drinking that fucking shit from uh, Signs or whatever the whole, the whole time. I hear kitties. <laughs> The cat won't shut up, and it's going to ruin the entire fucking recording. Okay. I'm like, I hear kitties. I hear kitties. Everybody loves the cats, so there's no secret that I post cat pictures all the time. I know, I, but I can I can totally be wine drunk by noon and make it really interesting. I'll just get beer drunk. I'll, I'll probably throw some stuff in the car. See, beer doesn't get me drunk. I could drink well, and drink and drink that shit all night long. I love yeah, but you're like, not drinking it. No, I'm not. Yeah, but no, that's not. wine, I'm fucking slamming that shit. I'm like glass after glass after glass. The next thing I know, I'm fucking shit faced. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And yeah. shit faced Jen so. is very funny. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck you. So, oh, yeah, now I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, we've already listed the speakers. Yeah. Jen went and on the spiel. I don't know if, is there an after party plan or anything? Um, I actually met up with Patrick Horst, who's one of the. Um, the coordinators of it. I met up with him last week for lunch to talk about it. We're talking about doing it at a place that has a bar and an arcade and a couple of like dance club areas in def- in like it's like one big building but they're separate areas so there's kind of something for everybody to do. And you know how our us atheists tend to be a little bit socially awkward. So this way we're not No. St- I know. No, right? So this way we're not standing at a bar forcing conversation. There's there's an arcade to go to. There's places to go dance to. We're talking about that. He's talking about doing it at a hotel bar, whatever. But I don't. We I'm not haven't, one we of haven't figured this out yet. Ar- arcade shit. I like to get drunk and just talk. That's just me, though. Yeah, because you know that's and what maybe we do. It, that's what we do every time. Any other in- <laughs> inebriants, but I won't go in that one. But yeah, there there <laughs> there's a couple of ideas. There should be an after party. I know that there's going to be a pizza party at the end of NatalCon with some stand up comedians going through it. Oh really? I haven't yeah. heard that part. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to stick around for pizza or if I want to go back to Corner Pub and get one of those amazing burgers again. Oh my god, you and the burger. Yeah. Oh, that burger, burger was so those fries were fucking amazing too. Corner Pub in Nashville, guys, amazing fucking burgers. Wonderful. Well, I don't know if they're all like that. That was the one in Brentwood. Well, yeah, it was the one in Brentwood. Yeah. It was fucking delicious, though. Like, we should totally go back there this year. Yeah, we can totally go. Yeah, We should totally go back there. And, and it Trav's was memorable because of the... What? Trav's going to be there. I'm so excited. Yeah, we have to... In fact, well, we need to plug that uh, because Trav is still trying to get money to get a ticket to come down here. So, Ooh, how much does he need? How much does Trav need? I'm sorry. Gender pronouns. I'm sorry. How much does Trav yeah. need? I forgot the latest... Totally. To I think it was two twenty. He's trying to get four hundred dollars, and it was up to two twenty. I may have so to throw yeah. something towards that. They need some help, and they deserve, it as far as I'm concerned. And Callie and Celeste should be there this year too, right? I believe they're coming down. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! Fuck yeah, they're coming down because the wedding's fucking the Sunday. wedding Sunday. Yeah. So yeah, they're gonna fucking be. There. Yeah, clearly they're gonna be here. <laughs> Oh my God, I get to see every, see, this is why I love NanoCon. Like, literally everybody I love gets into one place at like one time. And it's awesome. That's why I love yeah, NanoCon. So, I love NanoCon. And even Air, Ari and Jeremiah are talking about coming here. Really? I, I, oh my I God. don't know if that's going to, I'm going to go harass people to, now. They're trying to make it happen, but I don't know yet. And this year, you so. don't have to worry about Jen's too afraid to flirt with people. I Which is didn't actually, know that you know, was ever an issue anyway. Remember, you don't remember when I freaked out when I actually made contact with my now boyfriend because I was like this really hot guy in my atheist group, my local atheist group, and you guys are trying to get me to talk to him and I wouldn't. I don't remember. I'm now dating I, him. I don't remember that part. I'm now dating him. How funny is that? 
I remember you mentioning some dude. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I I ran over to you. I think you and Joe had been like four shades to the wind at this point. I'd made contact. I contacted my boyfriend and I freaked out and ran away and I ran back to you guys. And this was 20 solid minutes of you and Joe Kindick telling me it's local dick on tap, bitch. What are you doing? Go talk to him so that this way you have a local booty call. I'm now dating him. So. <laughs> It's possible. I was so drunk, I don't remember. So. I am. That is my now boyfriend, which is fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. I just realized how full circle that came. Holy shit. Okay. It's a circle of life. It, is. it, it really is. I need to go find a little cup now to go hold up for a sacrifice. Okay. So, Start singing yeah, some. Getting, yeah. This is a lion shit. We're not doing this. No, no, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's, let's, let's There's let's no do that. telling what happens when Jen comes around. Okay. Well, I will vouch for that fun. at least. It's always yeah. fun when I come around. You know that. <laughs> I bring anyway. the party bitches. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and give me, a, again, give me all your stuff for your. Oy va. Okay. We are at notanotheratheistpodcast.com, N Y C A Atheist on Twitter. We're on Facebook at Not Another Atheist Podcast. We have we are on Podbean and some other fucking platforms too. But yeah, that's where you can find us. <laughs> that's exactly where you can find us. All of that shit. All Just that shit. Just not another atheist Good podcast. Deal. Just not another atheist podcast. Well, I'm uh, hoping I will have the pleasure of being on there soon. Uh, yes, we have. Yeah, I... we got to get you in soon because I miss having you. I love doing shows with you. We're out of our so fucking minds. Hopefully, hopefully that'll happen. Uh, yes. After you have the big wigs on. You know. I know. I know. I got to, you know, step on some toes right now. The big wigs on. <laughs> the big wigs. All right, Jim. Meanwhile, these, meanwhile, these are the fucking people I'm drinking at with NanoCon, the fucking big wigs. Are you kidding me? Are they going to be, yeah. Are they going to be drinking? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, we all are. Okay. We all always do. I know I owe Mandisa a drink. I don't. I know that much. I, I owe Mandisa a drink right now. But yes, yeah. it was lovely coming on. Go. Thank you. I love doing your show. I always have so much fun on it. It's all the fun, all the fun, all the time. All the fun, all the time, ladies and gentlemen. So, everybody, Jen is going to be at Nanacon, as she mentioned, in the panel with myself, yes, Tucker, and the Crails. Am I missing somebody? Oh, and Cass. I forgot about and Cass. Cass. <laughs> the one person with the most followers is what we're fucking real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, the guy who's like the godfather of Atheist yeah. Podcasting. And the godfather of Atheist Podcasting, Cass, Cass are, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm glad I'm, I haven't seen him in a while. I know, I, was, uh, I haven't seen him, I don't think, since last Nanocon. I think last Nanocon was the last time I saw him. I don't think I've seen him since then either, actually. Mm. We don't. He's in Murfreesboro, so. Is he? Is he that close? Oh, God, we're shitty friends. Wow, we're really shitty friends. Yeah, he's a merch. We're really shitty friends. All right, but, well, thanks yeah. for coming on, Jen. Yeah, thank you for having me and us and the pussy whipped one. That'll do it for this episode of the Triple Po. I want to thank Jen and Keith again for coming on and talking to me about absolutely nothing except rambling most of the time and occasionally saying some shit about their project and Anacon, but mostly just bunch of bullshit but it was fun so you know it wasn't a total loss of course you want to check out the show you can come to podunk the podunk polymath.com of course the music's by dot dot dash you can check them out facebook.com slash dot dot dash uh, well it's too difficult let's just be real about it so if you <laughs> go on the website uh, the about page on the the wordpress and go find the link it's easier of course, their music is at cdbaby.com slash cd slash dot dot dash. New and approved logo by Jeff Prabig Jr. at Pit Atheist on Twitter. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Gmail at podunk, the podunk polymath. Emails at podunk.polymath at gmail.com. If you want to become part of the Patreon posse, patreon.com slash the podunk polymath. Call and phone number, which apparently people leave voicemail sometimes. 615-378-POPO-7676. The Podunk Polymath Podcast Posse Facebook group is at facebook.com slash group slash the Podunk Polymath Podcast Posse. All words separated by periods. If you want to check out the online store, zazzle.com slash podunk underscore polymath. Of course, there's also on the sidebar there, you can follow me on WordPress. You can check out my tweets and follow me on Twitter. Donate at PayPal. 
subscribe on RSS, Google Play, iTunes, and Stitcher. There's a Patreon button as well, a Facebook like box, and of course, recent posts and recent comments. Thank y'all again for sticking with me and actually listening to the show. It's always good to know somebody's actually listening. Uh, although, I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with y'all that you ain't got nothing else better to do than listen to this. But hey, I'm not going to complain. So anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, listening. And until next time, y'all take it easy now, okay? Okay.